tiny, uh, I'd say a little bit larger than a thumbnail, yet uh, uh, quite uh, different to what I'm used to from this deposit. This is from the Mashamba West Mine. Mine famous for the, the large cuprite crystals. And with uh, strong lighting, you'd actually have a sort of a red halo. Uh, the edges would be see-through red with a very, very good light, maybe a jeweler's light. Matrix here seems to be predominantly, let's say, malachite. It's actually, uh, it's quite different to malachite. So maybe even we're talking about Colweza. This is still, my, my IDs on this uh, particular deposit are still a little bit under construction because this is uh, from quite recent finds. This would be around about 2020 these guys came out. So we have, um, what I can tell you for sure is, those pyramids sitting there would be the uh, cuprite crystals sitting up there. The uh, uh, Behind that, most likely we're talking about malachite. Let's see how close I can get to the camera on this one. Let's see if we can zoom in. Uh, let's see. Camera doesn't have a macro facility, so I can't go very close. Under magnification, of course, this would be a world of wonders, but it's it's a lovely piece nonetheless, and quite unusual to uh, uh, this batch, which I got about two months ago. Um, in that you have the uh, malachite associated with these well-formed cuprite crystals, all from the Mashamba Westman Katanga Copper Crescent in the Congo. Malachite and cuprite.